I'm so glad you are here with us for this week and this month we are kicking off February with a whole new theme. Yes, can you tell what it is? We're talking all about our neighborhoods and how we can show compassion to others. Well, what's compassion, you might ask? Well, compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. So we're gonna find out all month about how we can care for people in our neighborhoods. That's right, we can do that by showing compassion. And compassion is a great thing for us to remember on our block and in and around our neighborhoods, but not just here in Clarkston or Waterford or White Lake, but wherever you live, wherever you go about your daily life even in the towns next to ours. So let's take a look at our story for this week and learn more about Jesus's mission statement. What do you do when you need something? If you're thirsty, you take a drink. When you're bored, maybe you pick up a good book. If you're cold, you grab a sweater. <laughs> Lonely, you hang out with a friend. And if you're hungry, you pick up your favorite snack. It's really easy to do something about your own needs because you can't escape them. <laughs> they follow you around like a shadow. It's a lot more difficult to pay attention to what other people need. You have to focus your eyes and your heart. And when you begin to see the needs around you, then you can take action. Maybe you see your mom is stressed after a long day of work. So load the dishwasher, even if it's not your turn. Spot a new kid in the cafeteria? Offer a seat at your table. You see your little brother really struggling with math? Take a few minutes out of your game to help him. The lady who drives your bus seems really sad. Thank her for being on time to pick you up every day. The weeds in your neighbor's flower bed get out of control while she's on a trip. So pull some weeds for her. <laughs> when you begin to focus your eyes and your heart to see the needs around you and do something about them, others will see God at work in you. That's why compassion is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
we found in you Love one another, love one another, yeah Love one another, that's what we'll do So and so, a wonderful day for a show. Won't you come see? I'll be silly. <laughs> It's a so and so show for you to watch. Oh, we can't go by without it. Sit and watch me. Why not? It's free. <laughs> I have always wanted to have a show all about me. I've always wanted people to watch me. So just sit right back and enjoy yourself. I promise you'll like it. It's good for your health. <laughs> Why don't you watch? <laughs> Couldn't you watch? <laughs> Watch, uh, won't you watch the so and so, the so and so, so and so show? I can't, I can't get this off. It's ripping the hair off my legs. Ow, Brandon, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, mommy. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. What's going on with your voice, man? Uh, it's laryngitis. It comes and goes. Okay. We're here at the start of February. Yeah, the shortest months. Not much time to answer my giant question. What's your giant question? Oh, it just seems like my day today is becoming a routine. Oh. Every day, what do I do? I get up, I make breakfast, I climb Mount Black to retrieve the sacred ring, I fix lunch, I come here and hang out with you, and do the whole thing over again. It's all the same. What was the thing about the ring? Which is why I'm excited about having a real mission in life, you know? A thing to, to drive toward, a guiding light. A purpose. No, no, why would I want a dolphin? That wouldn't help in any oh, way. No, not a porpoise, a purpose. Oh, yes, that then. Yeah. That's what I want, and that's my giant question. What is my porpoise? Purpose. Right. I don't know, pal. That's a, that's a thing you need to do some deep thinking about, right? Mm. Self-discovery is a lifelong process. I'm glad you said that, mm. because I've got a lot of things I want to try, and I need your help well, to make most uh, of them work. Okay, hold on. When I said... When I said lifelong process, I didn't mean right now. <laughs> Too late! Ha ha! Because, my friend, it is time for a montage! <laughs> World's greatest actor. Huh. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears! Next. An important scientific discovery, maybe. And now, gently, gently. <sighs> maybe not. Next. Write a pop song. <laughs> That shouldn't be too hard. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me hungry. Yes, hungry. I think someone already wrote that. How about uh, you're the first human on Mars? <sighs> I don't think this is my purpose. Honestly, it's kind of boring.
Okie doke. Set a world record. Perfect! We'll set a world record for the most high fives in one minute. Hold up your hand. Okay. Here we go! How? How? Oh. Huh. Okay, okay, how many was that? The, the, uh, what's the record? The world record is 290. 290? What? Oh, man, no! You gotta help me, Brandon! Okay. I gotta find my purpose! John, I no, gotta! No, stop, stop. Finding your purpose takes time. It's not something that you just knock off a checklist. Then how? How? You know I need reasonably listed, actionable steps! I don't know. I, I don't know if I can help, but I may know someone who can. Oh, I know who. <laughs> it's Miles Stewart! Time was cut! Please stop! Hey, fellas, how are you? Kellen, hey, what is your purpose in life? Oh, wow. That's, that's a really big question. And strangely enough, it really connects with what we're talking about today. That's odd. Isn't it? Today, we're talking about purpose, and specifically, Jesus' purpose on earth. All through Galilee, Jesus had been teaching in synagogues to crowds of people praising him. But it was different when Jesus stood up to teach in his hometown of Nazareth. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, and Jesus read aloud, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has anointed me to announce the good news to poor people. He has sent me to announce freedom for prisoners. He has sent me so that the blind will see again. He wants me to set free those who are treated badly. And he has sent me to announce the year when he will set his people free. The scroll Jesus read was written hundreds of years before, but it was about him. And that's what he told the crowd. He said, today this passage of scripture is coming true as you listen. Jesus came to announce the good news to poor people. He came to announce freedom for prisoners. He came so that the blind will see again. He came to set free those who are treated badly and to announce when he will set his people free. Jesus was telling them that he was the Messiah, the Savior God had promised to send. The people listening were astonished because they'd known Jesus his whole life. Isn't this Joseph's son, they asked? Jesus knew they were having trouble believing. So he said, What I'm about to tell you is true. A prophet is not accepted in his hometown. And this made people furious. So furious, the crowd tried to chase Jesus out of town so they could throw him off a cliff. But Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. The people in Jesus' hometown had missed the point. They couldn't see that Jesus had come to help those who are hurting and those who are overlooked. He had come to spread the good news and care for people. Jesus had come to make things right. That was his purpose. And if we follow Jesus, it can be our purpose too. We can love people who have been forgotten and people who have been overlooked. We can help people who are hungry or people in trouble. We can comfort those who are lonely and afraid or take care of those who are sick. Jesus loves people so much, he literally gave his life for people on the cross. And we shouldn't keep that love just for ourselves. Following Jesus means caring about others. That can be our purpose. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah. I know my purpose now. <laughs> to care about others. Yeah, yeah. I, but what about them? Oh, I don't know. Reveal the question. What is your purpose in life? Wow, that's really easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this. If, if we follow Jesus, our purpose is to love others and take care of people that are sick or mm -hmm. poor oh, or, yeah. you know, people that need help. Yeah, but we all have unique ways we can achieve our purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for instance, if you're the world's greatest oh. actor, you can love people by making them laugh, cry, or think. Or, you know what? 
If you write a pop song, you can make people dance and bring people together. Yeah, we can lend a hand to someone who needs it or stand up for someone who's being bullied. Share your lunch with someone who doesn't have enough. So many things. Yeah. Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So and So Show. Yes! I don't know when I'm going home, but I like to talk about things that are on my heart. Even though it skates real good. Skates real good. Skates real good. My heart skates real good. I like to skate with my heart. Skate with my heart. Even on the harder parts. Kind of rhymes. Skate with my heart, skate with my heart. I fall down and likes to smart. On my tush. <laughs> <laughs>